welcome if you're new over here be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topics that we'll be discussing today man stabbed to death at nine night over stool key not charged for a scamming guns and ammunition seized a man is now in police custody after officers seized a homemade shotgun and four rounds of ammunition which was found buried in a yard in farm hill st james yesterday his identity is being withheld pending further investigations. The police said lawmen were in the area when the premises occupied by the man was searched about 7 a.m. During the search, a shotgun containing four rounds of ammunition was found buried in the yard. Said the police, the man was subsequently taken into custody. Other reports suggested that the man is 19-year-old Kenron Dixon of Portobello District in the parish. Reports are that about 7 a.m. an intelligence-driven operation, which includes several units within the St. James Division, including the Protective Investigation Unit, St. James Foot Patrol, and the St. James Divisional Apprehension Team, searched the house occupied by Dixon, where a lot of scamming items were found. During the search of the yard, one homemade shotgun with four 12-gauge cartridges was found buried at the fence line. Dixon was subsequently charged with the breaches of the law of fraudulent. Investigation relating to the seizure of the firearm are ongoing. The most recent seizure brings tally to firearm seized in the parish to 58 and ammunition approximately 1,300 since the start of the year. So viewers and subscribers, now we are giving a quick update on topics that we have already discussed. First, we are going to start off with the teen who shot and killed his six-year-old cousin in Westmoreland. Said that he learned of the shooting when he arrived home from work the fateful day. He says his son was visiting as he would normally do on weekends to collect his allowance. The man who is a farmer says the teen resigns in Hanover where his mother lives. And I was so devastated and broke down. Panic, Tony, that time I said, no man, that can't happen. Hmm? I said, I'll rain me, then I walk up and down the I said, lick my brain. I said, you know, I said, something like that happened. I call him when if he come down for your money. Mm -hmm. Because I work out for a while and I work in Dallas and you know, I have to go up on the farm very early. So, I yeah. stay down here. When I come down the weekend time, I hear him say, oh, daddy, I'll buy this over shop for me. And he will go and buy it for me. And I come and I give him $100 or $50. That's how much we have a good relationship. And everybody. He says he hasn't spoken with his son since he's been charged. With Jamaica lacking a burn unit to treat her injuries, Nicole Clark, the Anova woman who was allegedly dosed with flammable substance and burnt by her jealous boyfriend last Wednesday, is to head to the United States today to undergo treatment. The trip was made possible by the Kingston based non profit organization by the help of the GoFundMe that was launched by her family. Her passport was able to be renewed yesterday. A 9 o'clock appointment was set for the woman at the U.S. Embassy this morning, but unfortunately, she was denied the visa. So, viewers and subscribers, the lady who was burnt in Hanover last week Wednesday by her jealous lover was making arrangements to be flown out of the country for medical treatment because as we know Jamaica cannot treat her they don't have the facility for treat her any at all as stated earlier her passport was renewed yesterday from the GoFundMe money and also an appointment was set with the US Embassy 9 o'clock this morning for the woman to be able to get a visa but unfortunately the US Embassy allegedly turned down the woman. Now me want to understand how the Jamaican government feel about this. And not just how them feel about it, but what they are going to do about it. Because I feel like this is fear for the woman is on her deathbed basically. This is a life and death situation. And they really have the heart for turning on the woman. And I like said the woman I go over there for try and make life. She not go over there for visit. She not go over there for do nothing else. But try our best. Forget back life itself. And you really I go tell the woman so she can't get the visa. No. 
this is what we need to get the government involved you know this is what we need to call the government and say the government now do this and the government now do that because now we need them to intervene for see what them can do for this lady because it no fear none at all you will understand say it is a policy and it have to go through some stages or you have to qualify somehow but I mean, as I said earlier, this is a life and death situation. I mean, know for sure if a foreigner did over there and did have to come out here for some life and death situation, I know the country not deny them. So why them have to treat me so unfairly? That how we need, bro, God, for stand up and ask. That's how we need the politicians and to get involved in a because this is not fair. Not we all. really want to know what will happen next with this lady because nothing at all not out here. For them treat the woman with there's nothing at all our hospitals or none of our medical facility can do for help this lady so what is the next step now that we won't get for no one think we don't really for lock up the money yeah? the money for really got prison for this i don't think say so, no me honestly feel like say on for just throw him out to the public throw him out to the public make the public do what they want to do with him because see the lady yeah? she a fight she really a fight and she had try her best her family had tried them best for reach out to get help for her and them not get no help so oh him for just go sit down and, and just did it so just did it so but nothing someone who not to go show him out to the public for the public do what they want to do with him and honestly me never expect say it would have reached this far because when the incident happened the lady did it attack strong strong or I don't know if our body just never adjust to what really happened or what but the lady was talking so fine I not even know say she get such damage but now I speak say the lady is in that type of position here and you mean to tell me say, my god man a lot of pictures has been circulating from the internet with the lady and how our condition stay how she look and all of that and you mean to tell me say them deny the lady I can't come to all now. Viewers and subscribers, I want to hear what are your thoughts on this story down in the comment section. And also, if you haven't seen the picture or the video of her yet, it is available in our Chop City Telegram group. Just go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the group. Just click on it. And the pictures are already there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chop City TV and just send me a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. Right now, one jump cross to a nine night that was held last Saturday at a place called Erie Castle in Stony Hill where a man was stabbed to death over a stool. Yeah, man, I know a lot of people might wonder, what she just say? Yeah, I say over a stool, a chair where you sit down, pan, a man was stabbed to death over a stool because him sit down pan one stool or a man did a sit down pan first and the man tell him to get up and him tell the man to him sit down. The man go for a knife, the man left the scene and go for a knife and stab the man multiple times to death. No viewers and subscribers. Just imagine somebody killing somebody over something. So stupid. Nonsense. That is totally nonsense. I wanna really want to tell me say nothing wrong with me. I don't feel so. I honestly feel like there's something wrong with me. Viewers and subscribers, we have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out on a stay blessed. Stay safe and remember to leave your thoughts and all the stories down in the comment section.